proteins, blood, feces, Surprise what we see, we use Prozyme. Prozyme is a bacteria-based product. Better. Enzyme bacteria products work very well. They're natural, they're organic, which sounds good, and it basically eats everything up. What, the, what an enzyme does is act as a catalyst to make the bacteria do its job better. This is a mixture of enzymes and bacteria. So, but the problem is they are slow. So you, you know, you gotta use something mild. So you wanna work that in. You need to leave it about half an hour, which means how much pre-spray do I use? Enough so that it doesn't dry in 30 minutes. Scrub it again and thoroughly extract it out. You may have to do it a couple of times. But once, once you've mixed it, it, the bacteria starts growing, okay? That's what it's supposed to do. So if you have it sitting around for 24 hours, it's vomiting. Some of you have seen this almost every day. This is cat vomit. In this case, this picture from Pro's Choice. Extract, apply Prozyme. Now, I'm using a little trigger sprayer. I'm smiling because what would I be doing? I'd be dumping it on there. I'd be, I mean, soak it because where's some of the vomit? It's down in the backing. I don't want to get the fuzzy stuff because I don't want to come back. Soak the stupid thing. Give it about 30 minutes while you're doing other things. Thoroughly extract it out. If it's going to wick, of course it's going to wick. Pour, put some more on there because if there's some in the backing, you want that bacteria to continue working on what's in the backing. You don't want any wicking, so you apply stain blotter, spread it out about a quarter of an inch thick, and tomorrow it can be vacuumed up, and you're done. Blood and vomit. It's getting close to lunchtime. Here's the problem when you're talking to a customer in this vomit, whether it's from an animal, or a human. This is called education again. Ma'am, usually these spots are not difficult to get up. However, because it was in vomit, did you know that vomit has a pH of around two? It's extremely acidic. What's that got to do with anything? When they dye rugs and carpet, how they set the dye is to, to put it on the acid side and that sets the dye. And so when we have a vomit stain, what normally is very easy to get off, suddenly is extremely difficult to get off. I will do my very best to get this off, but I cannot guarantee that I'll get it off. I will do my very best. But I happen to have a product that has done wonders, and we'll use that and see how we do. I've under-promised, and over, I'm going to over, I plan on over-delivering. I've lowered her expectations. I've educated her. If it's light, stain magic. Most common blood stain on carpet is what? A cat cut its paw and walked across the carpet, and it's just barely on the tips. Probably when you clean the room, it's gone. The little bit that might be left, you zap with stain magic, and before you're even done, it's gone. Sometimes even true of coffee spill. If it's light and it didn't come out with water, stain magic. If it's really heavy, prozyme. Give it time. What's the big problem with human blood, though? There's a problem. AIDS. It's a biohazard. So what does that mean? Well, do you want to get AIDS? Not today. So that means rubber gloves, face protection. Everything that touches that blood is what? It's contaminated. It's a biohazard. That needs to go into a biohazard bag to be thrown out or burned or put into bleach. How about your floor tool? It needs to be cleaned with bleach and then rinsed off well. Do you want to contaminate the next house? 
Probably there's not a problem, but can you know for sure? No. So, so just be careful about blood. Now, here's one thing about blood. No, I'm not going to slip my wrist and get it, give you a stain, blood stain. <laughs> but where, if it was heavy, where is it? It's in the pad. So obviously we're going to have to deal with that. If we have a really heavy blood, and that happens. We've had that where somebody died. So, you know, but, but if we have it clear down in the pad, the best product in the world is OSR. Now some of you use OSR for urine, don't you? What is OSR? It's a mixture of three different very potent oxygen bleaches. You dissolve this in very, very hot water. This is after you've already water clogged the spot and everything. You soak the area. That means mix it up in a pail and dump it on there. And then you water clot. That'll take care of it. The next day there'll be some white powder and that can be vacuumed up. You need to saturate it all, give it 30 minutes, water clot, get it as dry as you can. Then the next day you can vacuum it. Two ounces per gallon, liberally agitate, extract. But there's one problem here. What? Might be a stain, but the big thing here is it needs to be sanitized. Anytime you're dealing with, like you were just talking about, if any is a back in the back and you've gotten rid of it all, but what might come up in a couple of days? The smell, the bacteria is working on it. So you soak it with microban or sparacidin to kill any bacteria action that's going on and uh, and so that the, so that it's clean and so forth cover with stained water <laughs>